The next segment here on uh, thermodynamics is uh, another closer look at the triple phase diagram for water. And just to give you a little bit better understanding what a triple phase diagram is, it, it's a diagram that has on it the three phases of water. We have solid, we have liquid, and we have vapor. Notice that only at very high temperatures, water actually becomes a gas. But it's uh, in vapor format uh, when it's less than 374 degrees and below a certain pressure. So on the vertical axis, we have pressure in atmospheres. Notice that one atmosphere, atmospheric pressure is this line right here. And on the horizontal axis, we have the uh, temperature scale in centigrade degrees. Notice the freezing point of water and the boiling point of water at one atmosphere. So, um, how is this diagram um, helpful? Well, for one thing, it has this line right here, which is the dividing line between solid and liquid. And notice that it's sloped to the left, or it has a negative slope if you go from left to right. Uh, normally, for all of the substances, uh, this line tends to be to the right. It has a positive slope. So what does that mean? It's, let's say we have a solid piece of ice, uh, frozen water, and we subject it to a lot of pressure. Notice as the pressure increases, eventually you reach a point where the solid will turn into a liquid. That's when you overcome the, uh, the bulk modulus of, of frozen ice. Notice that the colder the temperature, the larger the pressure required in order to melt the ice, and we've mentioned that before. Also, let's say we have a vapor and you apply enough pressure to the vapor, then of, of course eventually the vapor will turn into a liquid by compressing it. And that's normal for all substances. The only thing that's different here is this line that is uh, sloped to the left as you go up. Also notice that the triple point of water occurs right here when the pressure is 0 0.006 atmospheres and the temperature is just 1 100 of a centigrade degree above uh, zero, above not absolute zero, but zero degrees centigrade. <clears throat> At that particular uh, temperature and that particular pressure, all three phases of water can exist at the same time. You can have solid, liquid, and vapor all at the same time. Also, what's interesting about this, this is about the atmospheric pressure of Mars. So, Mars could have situations where, bo where <clears throat> water can exist in the liquid, the solid, and vapor phase all at the same time or very nearly so. Um, Let's see here, notice also that at one atmosphere of pressure, if you have liquid water, you go above 100 degrees centigrade. Of course, what happens then is that the water will begin to boil and completely turn from liquid into vapor. Maybe you can draw a line like this. Um, let me try that again, right there, like so. And notice that if the temperature is less than 100 degrees centigrade, then water will not boil unless the pressure is lower. So when you go up in the mountains where the atmospheric pressure is less, then you can see that water will begin to boil at lower temperatures. So that gives you kind of a, a quick overview of what the triple phase diagram for water looks like and how you can utilize it. And basically it tells you how you go from one phase to another depending upon how the pressure changes or how the temperature changes.